Mm. Okay. Let's all record this. Yes. Okay. Hi, 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 everyone. So we are coming to the next session. It's about uh, using React to create to create standard report. So before we get start, uh, I think we need some clarifications. Uh, is anyone here ever make a standard report? Okay, and are you familiar with the, uh, okay. Okay, uh, are you familiar with the uh, React? Uh, okay, 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 that should be fine. So I think we can start now. Um, okay, so this is the center for uh, uh, Everything we will go through for this session. First one is what is the report? It's a very quick uh, recap on what is the standard report. Uh, the next one is the comparison between the normal standard report and the new uh, React standard report. Okay. And number three, and uh, how to start and how to start development of the local React standard report. And the next one is how to deploy it to React two. And the last one is the um, one more functionality which uh, John did show you this morning. We will make one standard report to be shown on the DHL2 as well. Okay, so. Okay, um, I will uh, make the, this one pretty quick because not everyone needs to know what it is. So, the standard report could be an HTML file. Uh, before that we do, we will we'll make the HTML file. And upload it to the HSU in the standard report module. We get the data from I think and show it on the screen based on based on our logics. Yep. And uh, okay now, so for the comparison. The first one uh, is the normal standard standard report that we how we do with uh, before. So both of the method but we that we make the study box have the pros and cons. Okay. First with the normal study box, what's the what are the pros? So that is very easy to make because that just HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So that will be very easy for the uh, first to make the study box. We don't need very high skill, high development skill. To make the HTML standard report. Um, yeah, because that's very easy, we can save our time. But uh, that's only for the simple requirements standard report. Okay, and what are the cons? So, uh, for the normal standard report, uh, when people try to run the report, right, you need to select the opportunity. And carry up outside the report, and then we can run the report. What if people want to change the opening certificate or people want to change the period? We need to go all the way back to the list of the standard report, select the standard report again, and then we, we select the opening and the period again. So that's very annoying. Okay. Um, so because for the last one, it will be very time consuming for us to make the complex standard report. So for the normal standard report, that would be very easy for the simple requirements. But by the time we working here, they, we may have some very complex standard report with contents, the charts, the maps, and many, many more. And even people want to modify the data right on the report. For example, I want I want to have a list of all the COVID positive tests, and people want to try to modify the for example the name of the person, the phone number, something like that. So that uh, 
that's very complicated. Okay, so next one we go through is the React standard report. So the React standard report, we will make it using the new uh, framework, which is uh, React, and people here are very familiar with it, so that's good. So what are the pros we have? For this one, we can do the very complex requirement. As you see the screenshot on the right hand side, we have charts, we have four charts. And we also have the tab, tab here, up here, we have the tab. You can switch to uh, many, many tabs. And each tab will have many charts, many tables, many maps, okay? And on the very top of the report, we, you can see the all unit select, organization unit selector and period selector. So using this one, people don't need to go all the way back to the standard report list. To select the organization you need and the area again. People can select it right in here. Uh, and then we click on run and the uh, start report get updated. Okay. Um, so for the next one, is uh, it's a very easy to maintain because uh, that's React, we can split the, our re re report to components. We can reuse it later. Okay. <coughs> and uh, organization period can be changed right directly uh, on the report. And using this one, we can have a uh, good looking interface than using HTML5. So the cloud uh, can. And uh, it will have a better performance and sim simpler deployment. So let me explain this one again. So like before, when we make the HTML report, we will try to design the HTML file on, a, on our local computer, and then we upload it to start report. So for example, I want to fix very small text in my start report, and it download the HTML file on my local computer again. I modify that text, and then I need to upload that file to the start report. Okay, so for this one, we will deploy the standard report using command. For example, you want to modify one text, you come to the React standard report, you modify that text and run the command, the deploy command, and the, all the standard, standard report will be you get uploaded to the test automatically. You don't have you don't have to even log it, right? Okay, so that's a very very nice feature of this one and also the local development so when we work with react we design the html and we save it so uh, the html is uh, automatically re-rendered that's what we call uh, hot reloading so i think you all know about that so using the scanner report, we can have that one. Okay, and what uh, is the cons of this one? So because it's based on the new technology for the development, so it requires higher development skills. That would be that time for people to learn how to do it. So that, that's the cons. Okay, so this is what I, uh, talk before it does in here we can have functionality functionality that we can modify it that but this is highly not recommended uh i don't think so because this is a very custom layout it's not, it's not the, the form, it's, it's not the form. Uh, this one we have got it. In. We just make the one, one very simple layout to input the data going into one data element in some program. Not all the data elements. But some school and some people are like that. Select, select the data element A and hide the data element B. 
There is yes, we can do. We can do that. We can do that. But we need to do do it on the scale level. Uh, if it does not implement the program rules, there is no data entry. Both can be created and it can be in this particular feature, like in the data entry, we can apply the data. So, here also, we will take the code. No, no, no. We need to do it by ourselves. We need to write the code to check the logic here. It does not use the program rule. We need to do it by ourselves because this is, this is as I mentioned, this is not recommended. You yeah you can do it when exactly what you are going to do so that should be fine. So don't don't hide it. Okay, if you finish, let me allow the That we continue now. Okay, so we go to the next, next part. What's the preparation before we can start the develop the reactor report? Okay, first. We need to go to the sterile report app and create one blank report. Let, let me explain uh, let me explain on why we do this one. Because first we need one standard report on the list for the deployment. Because on the local deployment, when we finish uh, our local deployment, we will have to deploy it in the data to be start right. But it needs to be override one current study report on the SSU. So that's why we need to create just one very simple study report on the SSU. Just say hello. Okay. Next. Yes, HTML. Uh, yeah, you can see here the report type is HTML. And you can put the name on. Uh, for, for your style report, and it did us uh, HTML file for that one, just very simple. This is a sample for style report. You can consider it's a blank style report. We need to create it first. Yeah, we select the sample HTML report. So, for this one. Before, if you want people to select the organization you need or the period before the new report, you can click here. But for our React Standard Report, we don't have to uh, click the selection list because people will select the period and the organization you need right directly on the Standard Report. So we don't need to check this. And then we submit the Standard Report. Okay, so uh, we will have one repository on GitHub containing the standard report. I, I call uh, we call it stand, standard report ENB. That is the project. Okay, for the dev, uh, local dev, dev, uh, local development. 
uh, this is how the project look like. We have the uh, we have the source, we have some HTML, the bucket dot JSON, and okay, I will demo on how to do it uh, later after this presentation. So now we people can just have a look. First, we need to create one uh, env file. Uh, this is contain all the related information for that standard report. First, we have the URL for the SI2. So we need to input the URL for the DSI2 instance that we want to make the standard report. Okay. The next one is the username and password. The username and password here is for the local, de uh, local development when you try to get some data from analytics in your local computer. So we need to input the username and password here. Yeah. Yes, when we when we deploy the star report to the HR2, these two will be automatically removed. Because if we upload also the username and password to the HR2, it will, it will expose our username and password. Okay. And the report ID. The report ID here is the UID of the standard report that we created before. Yeah, yeah before. Yes. Yes, we, we need to be put, put the UID finally. Okay, and one uh, notice that uh, for the password, we should wrap it with the double post because sometimes in our password, there are many, many special characters. That's why we should wrap it with the double post. Next. Okay, so I will show you how to uh, get the UID of the standard report. So there are many, many ways to get the UID of the standard report. You can use the API uh, to check the new standard report we created, or this is a very simple way. So we can go to the standard report list and click on the report we want to uh, see and check the, U the, the URL on the Last part of the email, we will have the UID. You can copy this UID, put it in the EMB file. Okay. And we, we put the UID in the uh, bit report ID. Okay. okay. Uh, next, we will create our report. So in here, this is the this is our project. I can create one more folder in the SRC folder called reports. This is where you store all the standard report. For example, we will use this one to create the standard report for HIV, for TV, for multiple projects. So we will put every report inside this one. That's the place we store all the reports. All the report we developed it by the standard report at E and B. Okay. Uh, it's a bit confused. I will do the demonstration later. Don't worry. Yeah, inside the reports uh, folder, we can re we create one uh, example report and we name it as a uh, sample report of JSA. So uh, working with React, we need to name the file as JSA. Okay. And in here, this is the code for the very, uh, for the sample report. Okay. For the uh, next step, we will go to the app JSA of the root folder and include our standard report to this, uh, this file. And then on the bottom, we will put our standard report inside the app uh, DIV. Okay. Uh, next. 
next we will uh, install the dependencies for the study for NLB, ENB. Uh, you can either use the NPM or YARN. Uh, in this example, I will use YARN. So the, the first command will be YARN install to install all the, all the dependencies. Yes, 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 yes. All the dependency are listed uh, in packet location. So we need to install the dependency there because we try to make it very important. NPM, yes, we can use NPM. PNPM, uh, I'm not sure because we will use NPM or YARN. It should be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we, 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 yeah, I think, I think that should be, uh, be fine, but we haven't tried that before, but you can try it if it works. But for us, we usually use the NPM and YARN. Okay. For the next thing that's very important, you need to configure a data to do accept the CORS. Uh, for example, when for our local development, they start a box to start on a local computer. And if you get the data from the data tool, the browser will block our request to get the data from the data tool. So we need to configure the data tool instance to accept the request. Because it's blocked by default. And uh, then the next step is we can start the development of the office of report. Uh, after we input the command uh, start, the standard report will be up and running on localhost 3000. Okay. Next. Okay. And uh, how to deploy? The standard report. That's very simple. First, you need to check the ENB file to check if the URL is correct, if the name is correct, password is correct, and, and the most uh, important one is the report ID. You need to check that. If you put the wrong report ID, uh, you will deploy the standard report to the wrong uh, wrong report on the attack. And then we use, use the commands that deploy. And it will be automatically pushed into the data tool. And in here, what you will see when we run the deploy command. Yes, and you can see that on the data tool, uh, our standard report is up and running on the data tool. In the standard report module. Okay, and the last one is how to deploy the our star report as one dashboard widget. <laughs> yep. When you deploy this standard report, and you open this standard report, then this selection is stopped. Uh, no, for this for this selection, we need to include it. How to include it? I will show you after the presentation. After deploying, why why you can check this this whether it deployed or not. Uh, so so yeah, for this command, if you don't see any error, it's fine. That's fine. That's can check in the application which is deployed or when it's still work. Uh, I don't think we can check that. We can just go to the sky report and check if your updates are there.
Okay, for for the deployment of uh, uh, in order to make our study for to be show on the agent to dashboard, uh, it needs to be an app. Like and if I have, I will try we make one app and make it as one widget on the agent to dashboard. See, see it clearly. <laughs> okay, this is it. okay for anyone who cannot see it clearly. Can we move forward because I will do the, uh, the, 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 the demonstration after this one. If you see it on our back, I'm afraid that you cannot see it, the course. Okay, um. Uh, anyone here have ever created a uh, data to app? Have you worked on app? Just a mark. Yeah. So on every app, we will have an app type here. App type. So for this one, we should put the app type app that's for widget. By doing this, uh, we can add this app as a dashboard widget. Okay, uh, we will have the same method for standard report. We will convert our standard report into one app, into one dashboard widget app. We can add it to the DSL to dashboard. I can explain that uh, later when we call it a demonstration. Okay, in, in, in order to make the standard report to be shown on the inside to dashboard, we need to have two more things on the EMB file. The first one is the app name, because we need to convert it into an app, right? So we need the app name and the app shop name. So the app name here, uh, it should be the same name as our standard report name. You can put whatever you want here. But I recommend that should be the same name as a standard report name. For the app uh, shop name, we just put some uh, flower case shop name here. For example, my app name is example. My our app shop name is ESP. Okay, and then we will run the command yarn build as app and it will be automatically convert into a app and accordingly function. And then we will go to the report and add the widget. Go to the dashboard. Yes, we go to the dashboard and add the widget. That you can search for the our app there. Okay, so that's all the yes. 
after the yeah. yeah after this command uh, the it will convert our standard copy to that and open it to the to that's the first step and the next step is we need to go to the dash we need to go to the dashboard and edit that dashboard and add that widget to the dashboard we can yes no that's how completely uploading show up here Okay, so 
That's for the question. Do so we have any more questions? Please. Yes, it's a uh, yeah, so yeah. so this is a public repository on GitHub. You can uh, go to the URL and log. Okay. Yes. Okay, so now we go to the demonstration. That's very, very, very quick and simple demonstration. Okay. Can you can you see what is on the screen? Easy. Okay. We will go for SRC, we will create one more folder for course. And I create one right for example. So we have the example. Next, I will go to the app course. App example. Scroll down.
then I, I need to create the env file. I will go for the demo instant. And create one uh, example, sorry one sample report. Let's say long in Asia, select the file. I have, uh, I already have one five five this I create more yeah don't have to check this to and submit okay now you will get the port UID so now my URL will have the UID for the star report Okay, and we can start the report. We go for the promote three thousand. Check if my phone can show up. Yeah, and here we have uh, the hello story for ENV. So I will try to make some modification for the story report. But the, we have, I have only one DIV. We show the text hello story for ENV. I will try to modify to you. And yes, yes, yeah. Can I say this one? Then after that, I come back to the local development, uh, local development uh, URL, and you see this get updated. Okay, so let's try. Save it after that, okay. and it's automatically get updated. Okay, now let's try on how do we deploy the study report. And uh, here, this is the sample report which I created and I've got to play to the demo server of the data to this is a hello 
Now I will try to run the command. Yarn, deploy. Let's see. Let's wait a bit. Wait to build and deploy. It's done now. Let's let's go back to the to the current report on the demo instance and then I'll refresh. See if it works. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Let's get updated now. No, that's only for if. If uh, we want to show this kind of report on the dashboard. Dashboard, yeah. Yes. Dashboard or maybe. Uh, For this one, maybe. Any customer. Yeah. Uh, sorry. For start for running the standard report on this one, the report for it, we just want we use the command yeah deploy. Okay. If we want to. Show this standard report on the dashboard. We use the command view as app. Yeah. The deploy is only for. Mm, no, to not for change uh, next dashboard. Dashboard type not required. Nobody has time. Just only HTML. So everything we make will be converted to only one HTML file. That's very, very big. Big, but no HTML file and upload. It to start report. That's how start report uh, work. About about uh, if we want to put the start report to the dashboard, uh, it will convert the, our app into uh, sorry convert our start report into an app. The zip file will contain the manifest stuff, uh, manifest web app, and everything. Actually, uh, when you create a simple HTML file, it saves the database back to all the HTML rules. Yeah, all HTML. Do you use the or it saves the database? Uh, as a, no, I mean, when you created any HTML standard, it's a simple report. The, all the HTML code is saved in the database. Saved in the database. database yeah. As a so very a long. long yeah, 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 it's long. Suppose you have to upgrade the instance from 2.39 to 4.39. Then the uh, this uh, report will automatically be upgraded or you have to create it according to that. No, oh, this uh, I think it will get automatically updated. Suppose, suppose I have created any standard report, the lower version, or then I will upgrade the instances. Uh, then it's automatically upgraded all the things. Yes. If you have if any changes in the API, then you have to custom change the API also in the standard report, the HTML report. Yes. If, if any, not, if not, then it's working fine yes. for all the versions. Yes. Then it's also working for all the versions when you upgrade the instances or you, you, you need to upgrade, deploy again. We don't, we don't have to deploy again. We deploy only if we have any changes for the standard report. When we upgrade the instance, if it works, so if we work, if the something changes on the API, we need to modify the standard report and deploy it again. So we don't have so must have some have any questions. I will send the PPT online and also the URL for the public repository, and all the people can try. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm, I'm but if we work on the but, but I think when you use to deploy our uninstall on the local system, maybe you can go all over the world to give it on. I just think because of package uh, evidence. The 
PPT? Okay, I will, I will uh, give a quick demonstration on showing this report on the dashboard. So first I will modify something. So for example, hello, this is This is on the dash. Okay, I save it. Go back to the EMP file. We add two more things first in the app. Save it and yarn you yeah. Okay, let's go back to each other to the demo instant and check the app management first. I will go for app management. You will see there will be one more app called Hello is Asia. It's not available on the app management. So next, I will try to add it to the dashboard. I will break one more dashboard called Yeah, I can just for our study form. Yeah, we have a lot of this nice here. Yeah, get added to the study. Oh, no. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, first of all, now I will try to make some changes for this one. Second. This is this one. Change. I save. And then the one again. And the last one is automatically updated. Don't deploy, but view as a Yeah, so the last one is automatically got that this. this is the So that's all we have. We don't have uh, enough stuff, so I will put uh, my PPT. And also the URL to our public uh, repository. And I, I will put there some example code and it's just a so you are not directed course. 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 It still works because it's already there. It's already set up but on the demo itself. Mm -hmm. it's but it is required for only local development. Yeah. Local it's, it's being required for local development. Local yes. So we need to go to uh, 
Oh. <laughs> okay, on the left hand side here you can have uh, you have access. Scroll down a bit, down down, and you will add HTTP slash slash localhost three thousand and your local development instance will work. This is the demo. This is the DHL two demo instance. We have many many. So localhost 3000 already set up. So that's why uh, our starting point works. Calling it that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you.